I'm Steve Montgomery, Mayor of Hope, and I want to welcome you to the Hero Behind the Mask, a virtual appreciation concert for those in Hempstead County who have been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. Our community has pulled together during these trying days and months, and I believe we will come out stronger for it. But I know it's been tough. It's been tough for the healthcare professionals who've been asked to work longer hours under ever-changing protocols. It's been tough on the educators of our county who have had to learn new delivery methods on top of their regular curriculum. On business owners who faced unprecedented struggles, some businesses were mandated to close down for a time. It's been tough on our churches and their leaders. Our entire community has felt the impact of COVID-19 in some way. And still, there is no place like hope. Our community has supported one another, and we have come together and created new opportunities. You know, as, as I go out about our, my everyday thing that I do, as far as I have a routine where I go and visit, uh, whether it's going to Sonic, whether it's going to a grocery store, whether it's going to Walmart, whether it's going down to Williams Hardware, and it just impresses the heck out of me as I go visit these, these places and these people that work at these places. And like I said, on top of that, as far as our hospital, our health care, as far as our public service, our police, fire department, it's amazing what these people do every single day. So all I ask is that you make sure that you stay safe. Make sure you, you, you keep your distance, wear a mask, and make sure that you thank those people that are out there working every single day to try to provide for them, themselves and their family. So tonight's concert celebrates that community spirit and specifically spotlights those who have seen the most challenge, challenges. Uh, Arnetta Bradford, Dalton Brewer, Bitsy Carter, and the Daniels family have pulled together several inspiring performances to, to uplift and honor you. From all of us, the hero behind the mask, the mask that we see every day that, that, that you stand behind, we thank you for what you've already done and what you will continue to do to keep this community safe, strong, and together. The hero behind the mask. We are thankful tonight in many ways, um, but musically wanted to thank everyone with an obvious song, Hero. There's a hero in everyone, and musically tonight we would like to show our gratitude to those who have been behind the scenes, behind the mask, and kept everything going. Thank you so much. inside your heart you don't have to be afraid of what you are there's an answer if you reach into your soul and the sorrow that you know will melt away And then a hero comes along with the strength to carry on. And you cast your fears aside. And you know you can survive. When it feels all hope is gone, look inside you and be strong. And you finally see the truth. Yes, a hero lies in you. In March of this year, our world was turned upside down. That being said, our business community, including nonprofits, adjusted to the rules and regulations in record fashion. Did we pause and gripe and grumble a bit and wonder what's next? Sure, we did, but that did not last long. Your creativity kicked in as you look for unique ways to market your inventory and reach your customer base. You might be thinking that every community and all small businesses reacted in this manner, but they did not. 
So that is why we're here to say thank you for all you did and all you continue to do throughout this pandemic season. We witnessed something truly remarkable as new businesses opened, long-standing businesses expanded inventory and services, and restaurants, all food service locations, quickly made a way to offer curbside service, and in some cases, outside dining. Nonprofits also experienced a loss in revenue and saw different paths to raise funds for much needed services. Our community came together and offering ideas, assistance, and a virtual platform whereby nonprofits could generate funds. Although we're still on this unusual and very tiring journey, we have hope. Hope that we will continue doing what we do best and serving others in our community. To our small businesses and nonprofit organizations, we are here to pray for you and with you, encourage you, and assist you in any way possible. You are our heroes because you're not giving up. You're stepping up in amazing ways for the betterment of Hope and Hempstead County, and we thank you. You're broken down and tired of living life on a merry-go-round, and you can find that fighter but I sit in you so we're gonna walk it out and move mountains we're gonna walk it out and move mountains and I'll rise up I'll rise like the day, I'll rise up, unafraid, I'll rise up, I'll do it a thousand times again, and I'll rise up, high like the waves, I'll rise up, in spite of the ache, I'll rise up. And I'll do it a thousand times again For you For you For you For you When the silence is in quiet and it feels like it's getting hard to breathe and I know you feel like dying and I promise to take the world to its feet and move mountains bring it to its feet Rise like the day, I'll rise up, I'll rise unafraid, I'll rise up, I'll do it a thousand times again for you. Out of the air, I'll rise up. 
we'll do it a thousand times again.
Good day teachers, and principals, and office administration, all those who make uh, school happen. What a year so far, right? I mean, any other year comes with its share of burdens and concerns and cares for the students, and now you've been asked to navigate a minefield of safety protocols, and you've been asked to jump through all kinds of teaching hoops. I want to be the first in line to say thank you. Thank you for caring about the students in Hempstead County, Nevada County. Thank you for being willing to be on the front lines. Thank you for being able to uh, perform teaching gymnastics with all the different things that are being asked of you. And I also want to encourage you today. I want to encourage you to stay with it. Everybody keeps saying that things are going to get better, that we'll get back to normal real soon, but who really knows, right? So I want to encourage you to tackle today. It doesn't do as much good to worry about what's going to happen in a few months, but you can take care of today. You can attack today with the best possible attitude. I want to read you something that uh, King Jesus told his followers. He told his followers, don't be anxious about tomorrow, that tomorrow has enough to be anxious about for itself. And then he says, seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. So I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you to attack today, bring positivity into today. And if you're a follower of Christ, I want to encourage you to seek his kingdom above all things and in all things. And when we do that, there is unspeakable joy to be had. So thank you, be encouraged today, and let me pray for you. Father, thank you for our teachers, all those who keep our schools running. They carry such a heavy load this year as they seek to teach the most prized possessions in our community. Help them to have patience and wisdom and discernment. Help them to know that those are all good gifts that come by means of your son. Father, give them insight on how to best lead each student, how to best teach each student with, with all the obstacles that they face. Father, that you, would, that you would bring these teachers together to support one another and that you would remind them when they're struggling, when they're having hard days, when they want to throw in the towel, would you remind them that there are people all over this community that are for them and that are praying for them. We pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Keep my eyes. 
obvious and it is a definite privilege. It is an honor uh, to be asked to do this. I, I thank God for the opportunity to be here in Hope, Arkansas. My name is Matthew Peckles. I pastor New Life Church, uh, it's a Pentecostal church here in Hope, and I was asked to give a thank you to the heroes behind the mask, uh, the pastors. As a pastor, I, I want to say that this community has been born and it has been accepted. We moved here three and a half years ago from Louisiana. We're not from Arkansas, but I feel like I have always been from Arkansas because of how you made us feel as a family and as a community. And I want to thank our pastors uh, on multiple different levels. But pastors, you are the true heroes, uh, in my opinion. You uh, love this community. I have had so many opportunities to sit down with you around the table, to eat with you, to discuss with you, um, to, to look and to cast vision and to decide what our community needs uh, to help it grow. And your heart for this community, our heart for this community, it, it's unprecedented. Guys, thank you. Ladies, thank you so much for what you have done. We are, um, we have such a responsibility and I, I heard this expression one time that we're pastors, not puppets, that we go forward with the message that we are the tip of the spear. And Jeremiah tells us that I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. We have such a high calling, a high responsibility. We are stewards of the gospel. We are, as I said, spiritual the tip of the spear. Paul said, be a follower of me as I am a follower of Christ. We want to point everyone in the right direction, which is Christ. We want to make certain that we attach everyone to the cross. But we have to make certain, of course, that we are doing that. And pastors, I thank you. We are living in a time where there is, none of us have, have led a group of people in a time like this. Yes, there have been times where we faced pandemics before, but you and I have been dealing with that. And so I see how you've been handling it. I see how you've been dealing with it. I see how you have been leading your church, your congregations. And my, what a fine job you're doing. I see that our church, our congregation is pulling together. It is stronger today than it has ever been. We have felt the pressure. We have dealt with all of the different uh, everybody has an opinion. Everybody likes to tell you exactly what they think about this whole COVID-19. They like to tell you exactly what they think about what's going on. And everybody is right, aren't they? But pastors, you've taken that information and you've led it. You've dealt with one side versus the other side, one opinion versus the other opinion, and you've brought them together and you've still managed to lead people to Christ. I know your churches are growing strong. I know you're doing great jobs. And I thank you for the sacrifice. 2020, a, a year that we've never experienced before, but a year that's really been great. I mean, if you remove the, the pressure of the regulations and the stipulations that come along with COVID-19, and you look at the overall picture, I believe our community is stronger today than it's ever been. I believe that our churches are stronger today than they've ever been. I can speak from my perspective and say our church is wrong. We have become stronger. We have become fundamentally stronger. And I think what COVID has done, and it has stripped away all of the unnecessary things that we've had to focus on what is necessary, which is relationship, our relationship with Christ. Pastors, thank you. Thank you for caring for people. Thank you for understanding that there are certain families that deal with this and it's harder for them than it is for others. Thank you for seeing it to your community and understanding that there are needs out there that the church needs to step up and they need to meet. Thank you for being selfless, for being sacrificial. Thank you for focusing on what really is essential versus all the things that we have deemed essential, but really were always not essential. Thank you for stepping up. Thank you for facing all of the shutdowns. No, it's been hard. You haven't been able to go into the nursing homes and pray for your saints. You haven't been able to go into the hospitals and pray for your saints, but you've been available on the phone. You've been available, and, and, and we've had to stretch ourselves and go online and, and broadcast our services live and, 
uh, most of us never really did that before, but we've all stepped up. And we've learned new technology, and we've learned media, and we've, we've learned all these different things in the past five months. You've done well. I commend you. I thank you to the community of Hempstead, uh, Hope, Arkansas, Hempstead County. Thank you so very much for allowing us to be your pastors, for being dedicated. Be patient with us. We're learning. We're growing. We're trying to deal with a lot of different from a lot of different sides. But all in all, we're trying to lead people to Christ. So pastors, thank you for that. God bless you. We're praying for you. We're praying for our community. You are our heroes.
Clark, Interim Chancellor of the University of Arkansas, Hope Texarkana. On behalf of all of our employees, we want to say a big thank you to all of our medical professionals who have and continue to work during these difficult times. We recognize the tremendous role all of you have played in responding to the COVID-19 pandemic, not just those who are on the front lines, but also those whose work is hidden from our view. We know you are working tirelessly to give patients the best care possible, all while making sacrifices of your own to take care of others. You are our heroes. So whether you are a physician, nurse, or medic, in the lab or behind a desk, we want to say thank you for all you are doing. Love and blessings to you all, and most of all, stay safe. We hope you enjoy this concert. We pray for blessings, we pray for peace, comfort for family, protection while we sleep. We pray for healing, for prosperity, we pray that your mighty hand will ease our suffering and all the while we hear each spoken need yet love is way too much to give us lesser things cause what if your blessings come through raindrops what if your healing comes through tears what if a thousand sleepless nights are what it takes to know you're near? And what if trials of his life are your mercies in disguise? We pray for wisdom. Your voice to hear, and we cry in anger when we cannot feel you near. We doubt your goodness, we doubt your love, as if every promise from your word is not enough. And oh. long as we have faith to believe. Cause what if your blessings come through raindrops? What if your healing comes through tears? What if a thousand sleepless nights is what it takes to know you're near? And what if trials of Life, all your mercies in disguise. When friends betray us, when darkness seems to win, we know this pain reminds us that this is not, this is not. The world can sadly 
It's not so 